In this session, we're going to cover hot strings that are long or have special formatting that you want to keep and just want to make it easier to maintain. So an example here, let's start off with, uh, we're going to have some text period. And in this text, I demonstrated earlier, you can say Joe, I'm going to say put it on a new line, was new line here. And I'm going to hit the tab button today. Now when I save this, rerun it, and type txt period, it dumps it in here, and notice the line breaks in um, the tab there. The other thing that in sight here I'd like to point out is if, if under view, if you want to see the white space and view end of line, it'll show you the characters, right? So this is the line end and line feed, and here is the tab, this arrow, right? So. This is when you have special formatting, but the other thing is if, if what if this was hundreds of lines long and you don't really want to go through and put in this tick mark in everywhere or the um, the tabs are actually okay by that as long as it's not at the end, but the tick mark in everywhere where there's a line break. So there's an easier way to take care of that without a hotkey. What we're going to do is let me turn off because this white space is annoying to look at, but it can be very helpful. I think it was the reveal codes and Word. If you've ever used that, it, it helps you spot all the hidden characters. All right, so let's go ahead and actually we'll go ahead and leave that there, right? Because that's what I want. What you can do is you can come in here and put a print here and a print here, right? So the open print and close print. And what that's going to do now, if I save it, relaunch it, and type txt period space. So it, it puts it in just like this was here. This will work if your characters are under 16,400. So that's a lot of characters. Um, I actually have an example down below. I didn't really want to try to uh, do it live because it would take me a while to generate this. But this is my long text, right? So this is, you can see here how many characters. It's, it's quite a bit. So if I, I'm going to come into a different sheet here get rid of all this and hit long text period space and it's going to send all of those characters you can see it's literally sending the keystroke so your computer is going to interpret that as well um, but it's sending them to that page here here all of it was this works great and, and for the vast majority of stuff that you have they'll be under you know 16,000 characters so this is one of the easiest ways to handle that is to, to use this Another way that you can do it is to use a file read and store the, the content into a variable. So let's say it's more than 16,000 characters, right? So what you want to do is you, you put your text, the simplest way is you put your text in a file, and notice here I have over a thousand lines of this. The other one, let's take a quick look here, how many lines was that? It was uh, 16, I'm sorry, 163. And this one we have um, over 10 times that amount, right? And what you would happen if I came back in here and went down to this one and say, I'm going to add a couple rows. When I save this and we launch it, notice it says, hey, this continuation section is too long. Right, and that's when you, you wouldn't be able to launch a script. And so it doesn't send partial, it just won't let you launch a script. Right, so you want to avoid that. Oh, I still got to get more than one more line. Save it. Okay, so now we're good. But what I want to do is I put my text in this file here that I want to use in my replacement. And over here, I'm going to say file read. And I'm going to put the path, well, actually, first I want to store, put the variable I'm going to store it in. So I'm going to store it in the clipboard. So this is an easy way to do that. And then you put in the path. And so over here, I have, I've customized my site. But what, basically what you do is you'd find the path to that file. I'm going to say copy path this file. But you would find the path using Explorer, find the path, and paste it here. What that's going to do is it's going to go read this file and store it. In your clipboard and then all you have to do is now leverage that and say I'll do txt2 period and I'm going to do this we're going to cover the different send types later on but I'm going to use send input and this caret 
which is over the 6. Caret V means control V, which is paste. So send paste, right? And notice I commented that this is, so I'm going to say control paste because, um, I'm going to send paste because I've stored the variable in the clipboard, right? And I'm going to add a return here so it doesn't keep processing. Now, when I save this and relaunch it, now txt2 period, if I come over to here, the great thing about this is txt2 period, watch how fast it dumps it in there, right? So because I read that to a variable, stored it all in the clipboard, and then just hit paste, it's not sending each keystroke, but it dumped the uh, 1141 lines, right, into this file. And this will be an exact replica of what this file was. Right, so when you have long, very long text that you want to send, um, it's one of two ways. Typically, I I use that first route, this one, because it'll it'll handle up to sixteen thousand characters and it's very easy to read and it's usually pretty close to exactly what I want. You know, if that doesn't work, I'll just store what I want in a text file. It can be any type of file; the extension doesn't really matter as long as it's um, text. And then you can read it and then um, just store it in. You read it into the variable, here I'm using the clipboard, and then I send uh, paste, and that's it.